Okay, everybody, this is Moody Dashcam, and if you enjoy these videos, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. All right, let's get on with it. It's um, today we are in Garrison Beach, Brooklyn. We're in South Brooklyn on the water on a peninsula, so water surrounding us. So it is kind of a beach boating fishing type town. A little small town vibe, I like it. You don't commonly get that in Brooklyn, as you may know. All right, let's get into some history. The neighborhood is named after Wolford Garretts. Now, initially I was like, that's kind of a unique name. You don't really hear that name too often. And then I saw his full name. It's Wolford Garretts Van Cowhoven. So that's a really unique name. All right, let's try to navigate this. Every road here is a one way. I don't know why that is. I guess the roads are kind of thin. Let's see. Let's see what's over this thing here. We'll have to back up a little bit, but no big deal. Okay. Not the best waterfront view, but it's a view. The reason why this neighborhood was named after him is because in the 17th century, he built a house and a mill on Garretson Creek, which is what we just saw, that little body of water right there. He actually built it on the other side, which is now Marine Park, but yeah, they still named this whole area after him. It's right over the water. What's the difference anyway? Ooh, nice old ford there. Yeah, so in 1931, the mill and the house actually burned down, so they're not around anymore. But around that same time, a little bit before, I would say, 50 years before it burned down, it's a nice house right here. A well-known family at the time, the Whitney's, owned property by the mill and built a mansion on it. Now, you have to think of, in the early 1900s, what kind of money you had to have to build a mansion. And especially when I tell you what kind of mansion this was. It had horse stables, servant quarters, a carriage house, which I guess would be a garage, um, and a private racetrack, which I think is insane. It was knocked down in 1936 for the Marine Park building developments, which I said is right over the creek. That's a Marine Park building, Marine Park uh, neighborhood. The carriage house actually wasn't knocked down and was turned into a private house, and it's still standing today. I would drive by it and show you guys, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. So that's kind of unfortunate. But hey, I get to tell you about it. If you guys can find it and look it up, send me a uh, write in the comments. Alright, where do we go next? Okay, so. Right now, there's a there's a canal that cuts this neighborhood in two, pretty much. So, by the locals, this part is the... Well, I'm on the north side of the canal right now. This is considered new... The new section, that's what they call it. And south of the canal is the old section. So, right now, we're in the new section. I'll be making a ride onto this main road and heading into the old section. There's a park, this is Garrison Avenue. To the left is the park, to the right is a neighborhood. Is the neighborhood. The canal is right behind this library. To the right. And this is the first road into the old section. Well, it looks older already. I didn't even know we'd get some thin roads over here. So around that same time these, these people were building their house and all this, there was kind of some development going on. There was no real development that happened until, like besides some bungalows on the beach and stuff like that, little shacks and that kind of stuff. 
until the 1920s, a real estate agent uh, wanted to make it into like a middle class summer resort area. Which you could kind of see surrounded by water, you could see it being a nice place to visit. And then it gained so much popularity that some of the bungalow owners uh, renovated them so they're uh, easier to use all year round. And then within the next 10 years, there are 1,500 residents in Garrison Beach. So they kept building. I guess people really took a liking to the area. And then fast forward a little while. After World War II, there were apartments built. I showed you that park a little bit before on the other side of Garrison Avenue. There were apartments built there. Um, for the vets returning from war because there was really no place for them to go and it was torn down in 1955 after everyone kind of got on their feet and relocated and then they just turned that whole area into a park which weird to me but hey I'm not the one who makes the decisions tight turn in a while. I'm going to pull over so this car behind me can pass. I'm sure this guy's like, what the hell are you doing in my neighborhood? Give him a little wave so he sees him friendly, not trying to do any harm. are crazy. Every house is, is very different. There's a lot of new looking houses here because I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me saying it. Hurricane Sandy in 2012 demolished mostly everything. Um, a lot of people didn't leave their houses because I guess they thought it wasn't going to be as bad as it was. And it was record high waters, 10 to 12 foot storm surges. So I mean, this stuff was underwater. Every house got some kind of flood damage. Um, a really crazy thing that I read was that, yeah, and since it's a peninsula, it, it really, it really covered this area, which is sad. But, yeah. but like I said, the crazy thing I read is that a bar from Deep Creek Marina, which is two miles away floated and and got placed in this neighborhood from the water. Beer bottles and glasses and plates still intact from two miles away. I was blown away when I heard that. Alright. We're going to go down this road. Turn back onto Garrison. What was that little car under the cover there? Very small. We're going to go back to Garrison Avenue and go all the way to the end, to the water. So yeah, I didn't give you guys any facts yet. The population is about 8,500, a little less, 8,300 people. Nice truck. Low key, that's a license plate, I like that. Very not low key. I guess that's a joke. Yeah, population about 8,300. Mostly Irish, Italian, and German. Um, oh, there's actually the last remaining volunteer fire department in Brooklyn. And uh, the people that work there, the volunteer firemen, are nicknamed the Volleys. It's a very famous fire department. Oh, I thought we had a nice water view down here. I guess not. It looks more like we're going to stare right at the Bell Parkway. The Bell Parkway is just south of the neighborhood. You can see the cars are whizzing by now. Nice big turnaround so the buses can make the turns. Oh, we do have a nice little view. We got saved. Look at that. All right. 
that's pretty much Garretson Beach. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like I said earlier, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. And a comment and a like always helps out too. Thank you. Goodbye.